From Pepsi to a newspaper to Mickey Mouse himself, we're going to tell you how to find the hardest things to find in Walt Disney World here on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog and we are going to talk about difficult things to find in Disney World. I know it feels like Disney World has everything, right? Well, they don't have everything and some things are actually really difficult to find. So here are a few things that our team came up with based on questions you guys have been asking about where to find certain things in Disney World. First up, Mickey Mouse. Seems silly, right? That we would not be able to find Mickey Mouse in Walt Disney World. Now, of course, you've got lots of hidden Mickeys everywhere, but sometimes you can't find the main mouse himself, and that's because he does not do meet and greets randomly in the parks the way he used to and the way he still does in Disneyland from time to time. In Disney World, you're going to have to go someplace specific to meet Mickey, and that may be a meet and greet that you're going to have to get a fast pass for or wait in line or a table service character meal. So those are the two places you're going to find Mickey. So in Magic Kingdom, Town Square Theater is where that meet and greet is. You can see him in the Festival of Fantasy Parade. You won't be able to meet him there though. And he's also of course in the Castle Stage Show or the Move It, Shake It, Mouse It, Dance It Street Party. But you won't be able to meet him at any of those. To meet him in Magic Kingdom, you have to go to Town Square Theater where you can get a Fast Pass for or you can wait in line. Over in Epcot, you'll find Mickey at the character spot. Note that come September 8th, the meet and greets will be relocated so be sure to check your times guide for where Mickey is at that point. But again, you'll want to get a fast pass for that or wait in the line. You can also find him in Epcot at Garden Grill if you have a meal there. He will meet and greet with you there. In Animal Kingdom, you're going to find Mickey at Tusker House, which is a character meal in Harambe Village up there in the Africa section of Animal Kingdom. And then you can also see Mickey and Minnie meeting at Adventurer's Outpost on Discovery Island. Now, again, that's a fast pass opportunity, or you can wait in line to meet and greet with Mickey. And in Hollywood Studios, you can meet Sorcerer Mickey on Commissary Lane. And that, again, is a meet and greet that you'll have to wait in line for. Or you can see him in Fantasmic, but you won't be able to meet him or get his autograph there. And at the resorts, you're also going to see Chef Mickey over at Chef Mickey's in the Contemporary Resort, and that is a table service buffet character meal. And you can also find him at Ohana, which is in the Polynesian Village Resort and is a table service family style character meal. All right, another thing that's hard to find, alcohol in the Magic Kingdom. So in all the other parks, you can find alcohol at pretty much every kiosk you go to. But in Magic Kingdom, it's still relatively new that you'll find alcohol anywhere, as it used to be Disney World's only dry park. And even still, you can't just walk up to a cart and grab a beer like you can in the other parks. So you'll find beer and wine at every sit-down restaurant in the Magic Kingdom now, which is good news for those on the Disney dining plan looking to get the most bang for their buck as a glass of wine or beer is included with your table service credit. And if you're looking to imbibe during Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, check out the paid events at Tony's Town Square, and that gets you access to snacks along with complimentary alcohol. But you won't find mixed drinks in the Magic Kingdom. You'll only find beer, wine, and champagne, so be prepared for that when you head in there. All right, sometimes it's really hard to find a place to just sit and chill. Some place where there's air conditioning, a relaxing location to just take a load off in Disney World. So Magic Kingdom is the worst for this. There's just not a lot of seating areas, not a lot of shade. There are rocking chairs on Tom Sawyer Island. That's a really nice place to go sit for a little bit on super hot and crowded days. And there are a couple other rocking chair options around Frontierland and Liberty Square as well. And of course, there are a couple of shows in Magic Kingdom where you can go in, sit down, and watch the show in air conditioning like Hall of Presidents or Country Bear Jamboree. But again, that's an actual attraction that you're going to have to wait for. Now, Epcot can also be hard to especially during the food and wine festival when you're hunting for somewhere to eat. So we recommend bringing a tray and carrying your items to a nearby air conditioned spot to eat with electric umbrella and Liberty Inn closed during the festival this year. It's gonna be a bit harder, but good news, they're adding an indoor space in the Canada Pavilion while O Canada is getting refurbished. Now, if you don't need to eat anywhere in Epcot, don't forget there are the galleries. So over in the American Adventure Pavilion, there is a the Heritage Gallery there. There's the gallery in the Morocco Pavilion. Those both have air conditioning and also benches to sit in. China also has some benches to sit and relax in some of their exhibits inside as well. 
And one of my favorite places to just relax in Epcot is the seas with Nemo and friends. I don't actually ride the ride, but I'll go in to the aquarium and find a bench or a place to sit and just relax for a little bit and watch the aquarium. It's really nice, especially if you've got a kiddo who needs to kind of blow off some steam and relax a little bit and maybe get some air conditioning. Now, if you're looking for some quiet and you're willing to head out of the parks, check out the resorts midday. Most people are going to be out and you can find some great options for table service lunch in a quiet, relaxed setting. And also remember some of those lounges open up mid-afternoon to serve food. So one of our favorites is the Grand Floridian Cafe. We've talked about it a little bit on the channel before. And there's great peace and quiet and the food there's really good as well. All right, where can you find Pepsi? This is kind of a trick because you can't, and I mean cannot, get Pepsi products at dining establishments in Disney World. And honestly, you can't buy them on property in Disney World. So this is due to a long-running Coca-Cola sponsorship deal with Disney. And for those of us who took the Pepsi challenge back in the 80s and were shocked to find out that we are in fact Pepsi addicts, this is not the greatest news. So if you've never been to the Disney parks or resorts and you are a Pepsi-only person, I wanted to give you a heads up, contingency plans. If you have a car, head to Walmart, Publix, CVS, Walgreens, Grab yourself a couple of six packs. If you don't have a car, ask your Disney Resort front desk or valet cast member to call you a cab and hightail it to the nearest Pepsi permitting spot to stock up. But if the cab idea isn't your speed, you can purchase the goods prior to arrival through a grocery delivery service like Garden Grocer. Also not going to find on property anywhere is gum. They literally don't sell it anywhere. you got to bring it or you can probably get it delivered with a grocery delivery. So this is in an effort to keep the parks cleaner and reduce the amount of gum that needs to be scraped off the sidewalks. And a newspaper, one of those things you kind of take for granted until you can't find it. So at Deluxe Resorts, you can request a paper to your room each day, but you'll also find them at resort gift shops, although you may have to ask for it. Walt didn't want newspapers in the parks because he wanted you to completely immerse in the magic and not be reminded of your day to day. So he actually did not allow papers to be sold in the parks. All right, plastic straws. Disney's making some serious strides towards reducing plastics, but that means you won't be finding plastic straws around Disney World as much anymore. And Disney's guaranteed you won't be able to find them at all by the end of 2019. So Disney does have paper straws, so you're not strawless, and you can always ask a cast member for a plastic straw until they run out, but they are being phased out completely. And we recommend buying reusable straws ahead of your trip. I like the stainless steel ones and carrying those around if you're not a fan of paper straws. All right, so where can you find exotic or healthy or special diet foods? There's lots of different kinds of food genres that you guys are looking for that sometimes it can be hard to find at Walt Disney World. So we have a big section of our DFB guide dedicated to answering the where can I find cuisine question, best steak, best ice cream, along with location specific requests. So where to propose, where to watch the game, etc. So be sure to pick that up if you want to see even more of our recommendations. But back to the question, exotic food. So Spice Road Table in Epcot is one of my favorites for Moroccan food. Yak and Yeti or Tiffin's in Animal Kingdom. Any of the amazing restaurants in Animal Kingdom Lodge or Morimoto Asia in Disney Springs are some of my favorite places to get food that isn't quintessentially American. Healthy food, you can grab some good options at Columbia Harbor House and Liberty Square Market in Magic Kingdom, Harambe Market in Animal Kingdom, Sunshine Seasons and Tangerine Cafe in Epcot, along with Satuli Canteen in Animal Kingdom. They all have healthy, veggie-packed entrees and snacks. Where can I find dairy-free milk? Allergy-friendly items are getting easier to find in the parks, but dairy-free milk can be a bit tricky to locate sometimes. So if you're at a table service location, ask your server. And resort quick service locations should have a small single-serve pack of soy milk along with the other drinks. If you're looking for almond or rice milk, you might want to order ahead from a grocery delivery service, although you can find Rice Dream ice cream at ice cream parlors around the parks, in addition to soy ice cream. So where can you find snacks for the kiddos? You can search and search for goldfish and Cheerios, but they are really hard to come by. Basically, you might spot goldfish in a club level lounge, but that's about it. So bring any must have snacks with you. If you've got a toddler who really, really needs those Cheerios or needs those goldfish and won't eat anything else, you definitely want to bring those with you and bring backups. And remember, you can order those to your resort as well. But if you're in a pinch, you'll find Uncrustables, fresh fruit, and some packaged Disney brand snacks that might fill the gap.
All right, where can I find a short line? A short line for an attraction can sometimes be difficult to come by, but there are plenty of attractions in the parks that actually do generally have pretty short lines. So we have a couple of videos on which rides have the shortest lines, but here's a quick recap for a few in case you've got some time to kill before your next fast pass or just want to get on one more ride before you leave the park. So show attractions are good ones. Country Bear Jamboree, Tiki Room, American Adventure, Philhar Magic. It's tough to be a bug and even Carousel of Progress are all going to have shorter lines. Typically, you'll just have to wait for the previous show to let out and then you'll get to sit and relax in the AC. And if you want to ride specifically, try the People Mover, Disney World Railroad, Main Street Vehicles, Teacups, and the Magic Kingdom Riverboat. Now, Living with the Land or Grand Fiesta Tour in Epcot are good ones as well. Shorter lines, a lot of people pass these attractions by, especially the Main Street Vehicles, but definitely don't because these are classic and oftentimes relaxing attractions. You definitely want to keep those on your list as places to go when you're trying to kill a little bit of time or... You don't want to have to worry about standing in line or getting a fast pass. So I hope that helped. There's a lot of things that are kind of hard to find in Disney World, including some that seem like they should be completely ubiquitous, but they're not. So hopefully that'll help you on your next Disney trip. Thank you guys for listening and thanks for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you subscribe. It'd be so great. And as always, this is AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and we'll see you real soon.